Guys, how are we doing? Welcome to the channel. Excited to tell you about a new channel sponsor going to be working with for quite a while, Bora Wheel Spacers. If you want more stability on your machine, get a wider footprint. They custom make these things for you. A tractor, a UTV, ATV, could even be your truck. Check out Bora, link down below. Springtime in Michigan, we have some more cleanup work to do. Going to use the Sweep All Sweeper here. Again, a commercial grade sweeper. We use it in the fall for leaf cleanup. That's just touching the tip of the iceberg. Today we're gonna to do some parking lot cleanup here at the shop where those snow piles melted down and kind of all the leftovers, everything that got pushed there, scraped along with the snow all winter long. You have a lot of rock, little bits of trash, pieces of wood, who knows, all sorts of stuff. We're gonna pick that up. After that, we're gonna head on over to my house. We just got done last week, two or three days ago, uh, core plugging the yard. Gave it a couple days to dry out. So now we're gonna go back through, use this same sweep all here. It's a sweep all aerator as well. Going to use this to pick up all those core plugs and see how it does. Hey, if you haven't watched the sweep all overview, did one of those last fall. We'll put a link somewhere in the video so you can check that out. We're going to get right to the action today. If you like what you see here, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. And if you want more information on the sweep all or another cool tractor product, then read through the description right down underneath the video or head on over to goodworkstractors.com. Here we go. Nice. You see down in here? You get a close up? I mean, it's got it cleared all the way out. Even the weeds. It did a good job. Okay, let's move up front. Okay, so over in this area in the front of the building, big snow piles that were up here all winter long and a lot of just random debris that accumulated here we have a lot of branches from these trees uh got a piece of lumber that i threw out here we'll see if it picks that up okay snow markers gravel some sod that got torn up you know just a variety of stuff so let's see what it does
All right, cool. So we got the parking lot and everything done over at the shop and it worked amazingly well. You got to find the right setting. You got to play with the shims there to make the right amount of contact. The first time it made contact with the ground, but wasn't aggressive enough to pick up all the, the dirt and the rocks, the pebbles that were left over. So we had to make one more adjustment. I think for most parking lots, once you find the right setting, you just know the setting. There's no real fluctuation. However, on a lawn, it's going to be a little bit different. Every lawn is going to be maybe cut to a different height. Mine's an inch tall, maybe yours is three or four inches tall. It also depends if you're just looking to make light contact, say just to get um, some sticks that are on the surface or leaves, or if you want to pick up plugs like what I have right here, or even do more of a heavy dethatching, you can adjust that height with the shims that are here to get the right amount of contact. And it's just going to be a little bit of experimentation. After the first few times you do it, you'll find that sweet spot and it'll be a lot faster. You know, so I'm getting a little more bang for my buck. Not only am I going to pick up all of the plugs here, but I'm doing a bit of a spring cleanup at the same time. You know, I blew out all of the landscape beds and the porch, just all the leaves that have blown in over the winter. I cut back some of the uh, knockout roses and some of the grasses that I had and just threw some of that stuff out into the yard as well. I figure if I'm going to be sweeping things up, why not sweep up all this other stuff so I don't have to bring back a wheelbarrow or a tractor with a bucket and make more than one pass on it. Just make it easy that way. And I do want to let you know on the Sweep All products, you can order those through me. You're also going to get 5% off on your order, but place your order, whether it's for the the sweep all sweeper or the aerator or both items or anything else that they may come out with in the future order it through good works tractors to get five percent off your order and we'll ship it to you factory direct
Well, that is a dirty job, folks. It did a really good job, but man, if you can tell, you get dirty, filthy. Wish I would have had a mask on. You try, it was just a windy day. So, you know, going one direction was just fine, but you turned around, come the other direction, it was, it was all over you. And of course, I realized now, I forgot to put my dust covers on my, uh, my loader outlet, so I have to clean those out real good. What are you gonna do? But, I think, the moral of the story is, this sweep all did a fantastic job picking up these plugs that pulverized them as it put them into the hopper there. I mean, there weren't plugs left over in there, just kind of mixed them all up, and I think that was a lot of what the dust cloud was that you saw. It did a lot of the thatching as well. Um, I think we got it right out of the gate though. I mean, any more, it would have been too aggressive. Any less, I don't think it would have done as well of a job picking up the plugs. So I think we had the right setting for that. Um, it's okay though. I mean, a lot of that grass, you know, it was dead, just stuff that died off over winter time. I did a pretty light the thatching in the fall as well. Um, really, at this point, I'm ready to go for spring. Things are just starting to grow and just starting to really take off. So buds are on the trees. It's the perfect time of year to do this. And uh, I think it's gonna recover very well. I may have plugged just a touch too early. It was a little wet still towards the back, kind of where there's more afternoon shade. Up in the open areas where it's full sun, it was dried out more, but um, it kind of, it ripped up the ground, I guess, a little bit more. Maybe that's the best way to say it. Nothing that's not gonna recover. I've seen it a lot worse than this, um, but there's never really a perfect time, right? You kind of have a trade-off either in your own yard or with overall conditions, something, you gotta pick your poison just to get it done. My yard's gonna be perfectly fine, it'll bounce back, I'm gonna overseed here soon, and we'll be good to go for spring. If you take a close look at the lawn, you'll be hard pressed to find a plug anywhere left over. It did a fantastic job picking up the plugs, along with the other debris that was around here. We had leaves, we had um, limbs that were cut, we had branches that fell from the winter time. There was a lot of dog poop out here, I mean, there was, a mixture of everything trash that had blown around from just blown in the wind it picked up pretty much anything and everything in its path so i would highly recommend this if you are in a commercial outfit landscaping some sort of add-on service that you want to have um, to kind of complement the other services you can offer your clientele this is a great product for you so again don't forget if you are looking for a commercial grade sweeper three-point mount you can get these also that are self-powered so if you have a, a garden tractor or even a zero turn some other kind of machine that doesn't have a rear pto there's a version for you as well five percent off with code gwt visit goodworkstractors.com so if you like what you see here today i'd love to get a thumbs up from you hit that subscribe button right down below and make sure you read through the description as well all sorts of helpful links down there or head on over to goodworkstractors.com thanks so much for taking the time to stop by and until next time stay safe we'll see you soon Bye.